Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This question says, could you enlighten us with some of the common traps of the shaitan, especially in these days and times? So that's a, a very big question, and there are a lot of different aspects to the traps of the shaitan, but we want to sort of highlight a few basic points. So the first thing is that the traps of the shaitan, broadly speaking, are divided into two groups. We've spoken about these in the Q&A already. And I believe we also probably mentioned them briefly in the lecture as well. And that is shahawat or shubuhat. Shahawat are the desires. And that is when you know something is wrong, but your, your soul craves it, your nafs craves it. And what happens is you start to do that thing or the shaitan invites you to do that thing. And you know it's, a, it's wrong, but you feel like you need to do it or you feel like you want to do it. The solution to that is also, we, we had discussed uh, in, on the topic of the nafs and uh, how to correct the nafs, uh, that the solution to that is to fill your heart with the love of Allah uh, to the extent that you, you don't have that love for what Allah made haram and the process of tazkiyat or nafs. The second one is the issue of the shubuhat, and that is the misconceptions and false notion and the cure to those uh, issues is knowledge seeking knowledge so when we seek knowledge we uh, free ourselves from the traps of the shayateen that relate to misconceptions and confusion um, that is you know sort of an overview and we have to add to that the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal, and if I'm not mistaken Surah Ibrahim وَقَالَ الشَّيْطَانُ لَمَّا قُضِيَ الْأَمْرِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَعَدَكُمْ وَعَدَ الْحَقِّ وَوَعَدْتُكُمْ فَأَخْلَفْتُكُمْ وَمَا كَانَ لِي عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ سُلْطَانِ إِلَّا أَنْ دَعُوتُكُمْ فَاسْتَجَبْتُمْ لِي فَلَا تَلُومُونِي وَلُومُ أَنفُسَكُمْ الآية. The shaytan will say when everything is completed, when the matter has been settled, Indeed, Allah promised you and his promise was true. And I promised you and I broke my promise and I didn't have any authority over you except that I called you and you answered me. So do not blame me, but blame yourselves. This tells us that the methodology of the shaitan in setting these traps is a methodology which involves da'wah. It's calling you inviting you it's not forcing you in the sense that he's not taking control of your limbs and making your legs move or your hands move or your tongue move but he is looking at you like a salesman he knows what's attractive to you he knows what will work for you he knows what he can fool you with through misconceptions and he knows what he can appeal to you with through your desires so that being said is a sort of a little overview of the, the way the shaitan sets those traps. And, you know, the basic solutions to that in terms of tazkiyah to nafs and in terms of seeking knowledge. So now we talk about things specific to these days and times. And that's another important point that when it comes to the traps of the shaitan, the shaitan doesn't stay still. You know, like a, like a salesman who is always bringing a new product. The shaitan looks at you. For example, time when a person was not practicing, the shaitan was calling them with desires and all kinds of haram. And the person started to practice and seek knowledge. So now the shaitan knows that old product, this person doesn't want to buy it anymore. You know, come out and you know drink alcohol or commit zina or whatever. This person doesn't want to buy it anymore. It's like, I'm not interested. I'm, it's not me anymore. I don't like that stuff anymore. So now the shaitan has to find, okay, how can I trap this person now? So for example, they can trap them through the knowledge they're seeking. Either they seek that knowledge and the shaitan makes them feel like they're doing such a good job that they start to seek it without, you know, without being sincere to Allah you're going to be a scholar, look at the people looking at you, look at the people whose, you know, 
people want you to people follow you you look you, you know you, you're going to be from that people of jannah and the shaitan fools them like that before it was about alcohol and zina and now it's about being a scholar and being from the people of jannah the shaitan changes the traps for, the, for those people so that's very important um, uh, as well and then of course when as it relates to uh, these times specifically then we are living in a time where we have two really big problems the first one is that we're living in a time where the ignorance or ignorance is widespread and knowledge is little so it's easy to fool a person through ignorance you know people don't just don't have that level of knowledge to be able to know to distinguish between what's right and wrong so that's a trap of the shape line in these days and times ignorance um, and that's why you have you know people for example if you look at social media and stuff like that and all of the you know false information that's peddled on there and the fake news and what have you as it relates to Islam it's just it's just a sign of the ignorance of the times that we live in the kind of du'at that become famous on social media many of them you know serious issues in the way they in in what they are teaching and in themselves as people and yet subhanallah you know people are huge followers and huge you know huge numbers of followers huge followings and so on um, because of the prevalence of ignorance in our times that's one thing and the second thing that is very common in our time is the ease with which you can fulfill your desires whatever those desires might be I'm not just talking about physical desires I'm not talking about just relationships I'm talking about whatever the desire might be the ease with which you can commit the haram in this day and age that everything is is at your fingertips you know you order something arrives the next day you know you want to watch something it's instantly available to you to watch uh, you want to communicate with someone they're instantly available to communicate and that facilitates a lot of problems in our time because of how easy it is to constantly feed your desires in a way that wasn't possible before or wasn't easy before so those are two things that I believe are very prevalent in our time and Allah knows best.